Hi, I'm Karthik from Marketing Sales. Welcome back to my Marketer channel. In this video, I'm going to share you uh, how to migrate uh, a client from Active Campaign to GHL migration. Uh, 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 we as a agency has uh, worked with several clients for uh, 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 CRM built out and CRM customization and many clients want to move from one CRM to other we have worked for we have helped clients with the HubSpot to go high level migration Zogo to go high level uh, and active campaign is one of one such uh, platform uh, which people earlier used for extensive email campaigns and now it is more grown into a more like a, a ghl kind of a crm come marketing and sales platform uh, but some clients are like um, more interested in ghl features because ghl offers a very fast paced development and has much much uh, much features compared to this other platforms and it is very cost effective also uh, reg regarding the active campaign there are like a uh, few, uh, few um, plans like light is the marketing light plan is the basically for marketing uh, contacts and it would include like uh, sending emails and for a basic beginner for a small uh, startup uh, for a small startup that would be fine and other one is the sales one sales one would be like uh, everything is included in the light plan uh, the plan the light plan uh, plus this many features this is 49 dollars per month this is also price uh, price wise it is little uh, competitive on the competitive side only and uh, you have another plan for 149 that includes everything that covers almost everything unless you require a fully customized plan like for the to enterprise plan but this uh, this uh, 149 should be more than enough for most of the customers uh, but, uh, but the but the key thing is like uh, forget about the active campaign how we you migrate you you can do the migration for your clients with are you for yourself without any hiccups during the process that is the main goal of this video i will detail you like uh, how uh, these are like i i won't get into much detail because though these two platforms offers lots of features we don't have to cover i uh, it would be very much uh, long it would have a long video to cover all the features i will cover the sub, uh, almost main the main features of this platforms like um, say if at all you have a client and uh, the client is in active campaign and they have so much of contacts everybody wants to have contacts to be moved to the go high level first you you can select the contact and if you tell you are in the admin uh, have the admin permission like you would have the export button also and you can just click the export I export contacts and then go to settings and import export status and once you export something you will have the data file here and once you have the csv file let's go to a uh, gohe level and then import this contacts uh, import this contacts here that would be uh, so that you can import all the contacts from um, active campaign to uh, active campaign to go high level and this would be the easiest way to bulk uh, to move the contacts in bulk and one thing you have to keep uh, um, when you export the contacts you ensure that you export the contacts with all the tags fields and uh, and also you and also uh, there is there is an option called accounts which is the accounts is similar to what you have in go high level that is called business like in high in hubspot kind of sophisticated sophisticated crms you used to have like um, uh, a separate uh, comp uh, organization and uh, under which you can have multiple contacts uh, in the same way go high level has introduced comp uh, companies and that could be that could be useful when you have when you can when you use it for use contacts belong to the same when you have a multi-layer touch-up with, uh, with a multi uh, with a different uh, people of the same company that will be very useful when you organize the contacts and in the same way this is called accounts in go uh, 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 active campaign and the list is something like when you, you can create different list based on the criteria you want and uh, uh, with a different uh, set of contacts uh, to do the marketing campaigns in the same way this would be very similar to smart list here like we can create any number of smart list in go high level uh, uh, this uh, so these are like identical features so you can use move, uh, move these things easily tags we used to do everything based on tags earlier with go high level the same tags here and fields are the same as custom fields 
fields in active campaign is uh, similar to standard and custom fields in go high level yeah this would be like the standard fields like first name last name personalization tag which we can use it in the in your email campaigns also and uh, there could be like tons of uh, custom fields also you can generate like uh, what are the custom fields like and what would be the type of the field so all these things are available in both the platforms so you can easily migrate ensure that you up when you export the contact if we export the contact with the tracks and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and fields also uh, so the, this way there would be no hiccups when you export and import the contacts in the go high level uh, and next comes the after and next comes the important two features two important features one is like the automation and the templates let's get into the templates first because active campaign was mainly used for the campaigns uh, campaigns to send email marketing things let's get into the email campaigns let's say this is a uh, say the uh, and then comes the uh, subject uh, the campaigns are very, very similar to uh, go high level email marketing campaigns like you can do email campaign separately and not part of the workflow you can separately do a email campaign like you can do campaigns here let's click a test template and then you can uh, once you design the uh, with the email editor or the, the regular text editor you can send the you can just click send now and uh, you will be given an option to send the email name phone or email and then you can choose the contacts from the send list in the same way you can choose like subject line and what is the from email and what is the uh, list uh, which has to be used to send out the emails and this would be uh, uh, this would be uh, the primary structure of the your email campaign and then once you click edit uh, you have, have the email editor and if you can click the settings you can do conditional things and also mm, you can do personalization also like uh, uh, which of the which of the custom fields you want to import and which of the uh, personalized name everything you can use this is same as like uh, what we have in go high level as the custom values and uh, and uh, this would be enough like if at all you want to you use a regular uh, text editor you can easily use the custom mm, instead of the custom uh, 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 instead of the custom uh, code editor you can choose a simple editor and that would be enough uh, design editor In instead of code editor you can use the design editor and choose the custom value appropriate custom value uh, for this so this is how you can uh, you can easily imitate the uh, go high, uh, active campaign campaigns in the go high level uh, this would be more than enough like you can use trigger links and custom values here for the same kind of personalization uh, so this would be exactly the same way you can use in the uh, active campaign and then comes the at, uh, automations automations are like uh, in what we call uh, in go high level also it is called automations but like uh, normally we used to call it as workflows right uh, in workflows would be uh, much more uh, more of a similar to automations in active campaigns and in active campaign uh, where you can uh, you can create a workflow or automation based on in the recipe or like the template they already offer or like you can create your own uh, uh, automation and there are tons of triggers available and triggers are uh, in, uh, nicely categorized like based on marketing activities or like a sales and CRM activities uh, like uh, when the pipeline is moved tag is changed or date field is changed or deal status is changed everything and if at all you want to do based on a clicky uh, click event for a mail or like uh, open or read a mail then that is a, that is uh, coming under different category and you can also have a, a trigger based on external apps also like if a sheet if, if you have integrated go, uh, google sheet earlier and you and you want to uh, use that uh, uh, sheet uh, action or action on any of those google sheet 
that as that also can be done and uh, these are very interesting additions uh, especially when you uh, when you have data across different platforms go high level doesn't offer this exact uh, future uh, both in the triggers and also i wanted to show it in the um, uh, these are all the apps which we have uh, which are integrated with the active campaign go high level uh, offers some things uh, but the uh, but the key thing uh, missing is like uh, it uh, doesn't offer that much kind of diverse platforms like these are all the apps you can integrate directly with active campaign uh, this is a very good future and uh, and you can use both uh, uh, all these apps as both as triggers as well as like as in the action so this would be like uh, data flow from one, uh, one platform to the other platform is much more comfortable uh, with active campaign uh, in go if at all you want to imitate the same with the go high level you have to you combine uh, three things one is like uh, web books premium action and integration these three things have to be combined and i will show you like what are all has to be combined just go uh, let's go to settings integrations we have stripe uh, quickbooks facebook tiktok linkedin shopify google business profile that can be used for reputation management that is not available with the active campaign and uh, these are all ready-madely available uh, integrations and other thing uh, we can we could integrate here is like using the uh, webbook as an action you can use the webbook thing for uh, sending out data you can also use the custom book if if you need some custom authorization and the trigger also you can use the inbound web book these are like the uh, circa uh, these are the way you can circumvent uh, the integration issues between the different platforms when you move uh, from active campaign to uh, go high level and this would help you to resolve the most of the integration issues if at all you want to have a ready-made integration or like a, um, inter, uh, 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 viewable uh, visual integration you have to use uh, zapier or make uh, with the web books you can get the data out of go high level and uh, uh, match the appropriate data in the panda doc or like any other do other red contract uh contracting platform I, we have a separate video for that and you can use any other platforms to integrate any other platforms uh with go high level through make and zapier also and these are and these are the ways you can achieve the same things which is available as cx apps in webbook and premium action in uh, in active campaign and the other thing other uh thing is like mm, we uh similar to similar to uh, uh Mm, go high level forms active campaign also has form to collect the customer information which you can use and uh, this would be helpful uh, to collect the data uh, from the customer and you can uh, you can uh, you can just copy these custom fields and standard fields and create a new form in the go high level that is very uh, that is a very easy process uh, i hope this video covers most of the features when you plan to migrate from active campaign to go high level in case if you have any queries or if you want us to do the migration please book a appointment through the uh, through the calendar link given in the description i will be happy to do that and happy to have a call with that to understand your pain points and help you resolving those thanks for watching please consider subscribing to the channel. bye